Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, yeah, the first video of the year, the new year, we're going to talk about Mickey Mouse and uh, Mickey Mouse entering public domain, or at least the Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse. And man, people have wasted no time. Oh, we knew this was going to happen. You know, a lot of people, a lot of studios, uh, creators waiting for this day. They obviously had stuff uh, ready, ready and waiting. We got some horror movies. We got some video games. And I'm going to tell you the truth, though. I think that Disney is going to fight a lot of this stuff if it's uh, commercial. I think if they're going to try to sell games, sell movies, I think they're going to argue that uh, Mickey is still a trademark. A couple of the, well, okay, there's two movies going to be announced. We're going to talk about them. I think one's going to definitely get hit with cease and desist. The other one might be able to get away with it because they're skirting the line. But the other one, if you hear about it, they're going to definitely get hit with cease and desist. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but before we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Go out to shopclownfish.com at shopclownfish.com. 12 days, 12 days to secure a copy of Crimson Ren and previously on Clownfish TV. If you missed them, uh, we're going to be publishing some more books this year, doing more pre-order campaigns this year. Uh, you guys have been great. Lots of you buying books. Yes, thank you. Love it. Every day. Every day. I'm sending out a books. bunch of them today. And if you order from now on, it'll probably go out tomorrow or the day after. So. Oh, no, not 404. We can't stay on 404. <laughs> uh, 404 error. So, yeah, let's uh, talk about this because this is the first big meme of uh, 2024. We're going to look at some of the stuff and some of these projects that were announced. Um, oh, look at this one. Walt, how could you do this to me? I thought we had a copyright. Oh. Well, again, we talked about before. Steamboat Willie, that, that short. And there's another one that was uh, playing crazy isn't until, I think, next year. But Steamboat Willie and another another short, I forget what it's called. Those two, the 1928 Mickey Mouse cartoons, entered public domain with some other things. Now, that is for the that that cartoon, that version of the character. It is not for the trademark of Mickey Mouse. It is not for all the other iterations of Mickey Mouse. And you're going to be very careful what you're going to do with it, which we're going to look at here in a minute, because if it comes too close to Disney brand confusion, they will come after you, I guarantee it. Because that's the trademark, which is different. Yeah, people don't understand uh, the difference between copyright and, and trademark. Just because Disney lost the copyright to, or copyright protection on Steamboat Willie doesn't mean that they lost the trademark to Mickey Mouse as a character. And we mm -hmm. did a video, and you can go watch that video, where they basically show that in the trademark filing for Mickey Mouse, they show all of his iterations over the course of the years. So as far as Disney's concerned, Mickey Mouse is their company mascot. He's still currently used in commerce. They're still selling Steamboat Willie merchandise. I, you know, I would tread, if it were me, having dealt with this company before, if it were me, I would tread very, very, very carefully uh, because you are dealing with the corporate mascot. This isn't like Winnie the Pooh. This isn't like Peter Pan. This is You are literally dealing with this company's corporate mascot, and they're not going to... Also different too with Winnie yeah. the Pooh and Peter the Pan. Peter the Pan. Peter Pan. See, it's been it's already been a long time. That's our knockoff it's version. Peter the, Peter, the Peter the Pan. Peter the Pan. Peter the Pan. Sexual, am I right? <laughs> Peter Pan is that that you're just talking about um, the original stories. Like you're talking about the original um, things that they took it from for Disney's versions. Yeah. Disney's versions. Um, of the characters will not go into copyright for years and years and years down the road. So they didn't put their Peter Pan movie out to a lot of time after that. They didn't put their Winnie the Pooh stuff out to a long time after it. So just the original story is up for uh, both of those is up in the public domain. That does not mean that it's Disney's versions of the stories that are, are, are now available. There's a, they're not the same thing. Yeah, so people are wasting, again, no time. They're like, oh, we're going to make Mickey dance to x Yes, but it's, it's just it's just around the cartoon, and they put WAP on top of it. I'm like, yeah, okay, Mickey Mouse is the Steamboat Willie's public domain, but WAP is not. <laughs> so, yeah, they're already yeah. starting to try to see what they can get away with. They put they put WAP on top of a... Uh, they, on it, top. Yeah, it WAP is on top. Mouse trap, Everybody am I right? WAP on top. Mouse trap. Um, yeah, so they put the music over... The original video of yeah. you know, Steamboat Willie. But that, I don't think they were going to... It's funny. Again, it's not, that's not a commercial use, okay? No. But we're going to talk about commercial use. This is the one I think is going to get. There's Ye two horror films that were announced. Yeah. Okay. This one's already... Right. Okay, the, the one I think... 
go to the other one real quick. Steamboat Willie. It's called Steamboat Willie. So you're not using Mickey Mouse. You're not confusing it. You're using Steamboat Willie. It's based on Steamboat Willie's look from the 1928 Steamboat Willie cartoon that is yeah. now public domain. Yeah. I think this one, and this one's by Stephen Lamort, and it's going to probably get away with a lot more than the other one we're going to look at in a minute. So apparently in his version, they're going to do, if you go down and tell us what it's going to be about. So this one, there's there aren't a lot of details about it, the Steamboat Willie one. I think this is the one uh, from the guy who did the, the Grinch movie called The Mean One. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, all the write-up says so far is Steamboat Willie has brought joy to generations, but beneath that cheerful exterior lies a potential for pure unhinged terror. They said in a press release, it's been a project I've been dreaming of, and I can't wait to unleash this twisted take on this beloved character to the world. So Disney said that they're going to enforce the Mickey Mouse trademark, and we, we talked about that in the other video. This is what, like, I think people really have to be careful how they're, like, I don't think he's going to refer to the mouse as Mickey Mouse. He's going to call the mouse Steamboat, Steamboat Willie. Willie. which I think you're allowed to do that. That you can do, because I don't think he's referred to as Mickey Mouse in the short either, verbally. Um, I'm trying to remember, but... It said, we're doing our due diligence to make sure there's no question or confusion what we're up to. He said, this is our version of a public domain character. It's a scary thrill ride with heart and humor based on this character that everybody knows. Uh, in the film, the character will not be called Mickey Mouse. Instead, he's going to go by Steamboat Willie. Right. So I think in that case, he's probably safe. I mean, Disney's still going to probably come at him. But, you know, I think he's got more grounds than if we compare it to the other uh, announced one, which was yeah. Mickey's Mousetrap. Mickey's Mousetrap. Okay. This is where, this is where it's going to get tricky. This is where like, I would not name the mouse Mickey because no, Mickey Mouse. you're calling it Mickey Mouse. Mickey's Mousetrap. You've got a character that looks like Mickey Mouse and Mickey Mouse is trademarked by Disney. I think you're, you're asking for trouble. I think you're asking for trouble because every iteration of Mickey, even if, Steamboat Willie is in public domain. Every iteration of Mickey Mouse is trademarked as a corporate mascot. I don't think this one's going to fly, but who knows? Um, but they well, have a no, I don't for think it? it is either. When you hear what it's what they're if you go down, they're talking about um, how it's going to what they're going to do, and they're talking about the story. Keep going, yeah, look, see, look, that's that's their picture, and that is the like look. And somebody brought this up in the the comments on the other video, and they're they're correct. I forgot all about this. Uh, you know, Disney sued Dead Mouse, the musician. Yes. For having a, a, a mouse-shaped mask that wasn't clearly was not Mickey Mouse, but it does look like the silhouette of the mouse ears, which are trademarked. You want to go there? I wouldn't go there because this doesn't even look like Your Steamboat Willie. Don't make enough money to cover the legal fees to go there. No, and they will run you. They will bankrupt you just to run you out of money. So you go down, and here's here's the synopsis, right? <laughs> It's Alex's 21st birthday, but she's stuck at the amusement arcade on a late shift, so her friends decide to surprise her, but a masked killer dressed as Mickey Mouse decides to play a game of his own with them, which she must survive. All right? You're saying it's, you're deliberately dressing the character as Mickey Mouse. And then they put this, claim, this disclaimer on. This disclaimer is not going to save their ass. The disclaimer says, this is not a Disney film or production. It is not affiliated or endorsed by Disney in any way. This film makes use of public domain steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse only. But you're, Mickey Mouse, Steve William Mickey Mouse entered public domain on this date, whatever. No copyright infringement. Later versions of Mickey Mouse are trademark infringements. But it looks like the mask and stuff that they were going to argue because Mickey, you know, mostly looks the same over time, has a few changes, but colors and things are changed. But they're going to argue this is brand confusion. I, I, I would not go there. I think this is, I think you are setting yourself up for. A lawsuit because they're going to argue trademark over copyright because it actually looks like every version of Mickey Mouse. You know what I'm saying? This actually looks like a later version of Mickey Mouse. It looks like, and you're calling him Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that's just, that's what I'm concerned about. I think they're calling it Mickey Mouse, Mickey's Mouse Trap, and referring to it as Mickey Mouse in the costume in the synopsis. Yeah, is where you're going to get into trouble. Yeah, and it's it's like they're basically trying to capitalize on Mickey Mouse and Five Nights at Freddy's, and it's like I, you're not going to get away with this one. I, I think that I, the Steamboat Willie one, I think you can because you're not calling it Mickey. If you're only showing them from the back, which I think they're you know look like the poster, they kind of have them from the back. If you only show the silhouette and you show them from the back and you only call them Steamboat Willie, I think you're probably safe. If you're showing the full on Mickey Mouse face and this doesn't look like. Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse it just looks like black and white Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. and, and there were other 
you know, Disney movies that were black and white Mickey Mouse, or they could argue the comics or anything that came but they, later. But they can argue definite brand confusion. Oh, absolutely. You're calling it Mickey's Mouse Trap. And you're saying you're right up. It's dressed as Mickey Mouse. A serial killer dressed as Mickey Mouse. But yes. We don't, we don't mean any infringement. It's only Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse. No, I don't think that's going to. I mean, I'm no lawyer. And then, you know, it might win in the end. But is it worth all the money you're going to spend trying to fight it off? Because I guarantee you're going to spend a shit ton trying to fight it off. I just don't think this is going to go the way I think it's going to go. No, I, could be I, wrong. I, I think we're going to see a whole bunch of trademark lawsuits cease and desist mm. because they're going to argue and i think they're going to be in a lot of cases i'm going to be hey look you know i'm not a fan of disney's tactics uh, anybody that watches the channel knows this but i think they could argue successfully that they're misunderstanding what is public domain and what is trademark and i think they're misunderstanding brand confusion and this is marketed as a mickey mouse thing it doesn't matter if you put it in the fine print this is like people they're like Oh, I'm just doing a reaction video to like the entire movie on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, like you you can't do that. There there's, you know, that that's not going to fly. So I think in this case, I think they're going to get pinched. Uh, good luck with that. If you want to if you want to go there, um good luck with that, I guess. Now, this one's a video game. Right. Now we talked about the other video game, uh which I think mouse is safe. or whatever it was. What was the other one? Was, was I think it was just called Yeah. Mouse. We talked about that the other day. And, and that was that was safe because that was like clearly inspired by 1930s cartoons, clearly inspired by Mickey Mouse, but, but was, not Mickey Mouse. It did look more like Mortimer Mouse. It looked more like Mortimer. Mm -hmm. It was a very generic, like 30s black and white game. I think that one is safe. Um, if they call this Infestation 88 and it's the Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse, but they're not calling him Mickey Mouse, I think they're probably fine. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's just a it, it, they're supposed to be like. That's clearly a Steamboat Willie version because um, the costume and everything. Yeah. So I think they're going to have less trouble with this one. Um, but now, the other game is going to have a lot less trouble overall than this one would because they're still saying that they're ba they're basing their characters on iconic characters and urban legends. Yeah. The So here's here's the thing, too, because they, they can argue that the Mickey Mouse face might even be a corporate identifier. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like even the face of Mickey Mouse. So I think they've, they've had plenty of time. Disney has had plenty of time to think about this. And they're probably like, you know what, let the copyright lapse. We can, you know we can do trademark for this one. I think they're going to get away with it under parody. I mean, that's the other thing. They, parody, they might be yeah. able to get under, we have the list of under parody because it's more than 20% different. So they might, again, I'm not an attorney. Don't quote me on this, but I'm, I'm expecting them to get hit with stuff. Even if they don't have grounds, Disney's probably going to hit them anyway, because they do. And let's run you out of money. But if you're, you're far enough removed and you're clearly just going by the, the one that's public domain, you're not calling it Mickey and you're not deliberately trying to set up for confusion, you might be okay. Yeah. Um, but that one movie for sure, I think they're going to get hit. Yeah. This looks like it's not just, yeah, it's like, it's a survival horror game with different characters, different characters. And also Steamboat Willie Mickey, as long as they're not calling him Mickey Mouse, you know, I think they're probably fine. But that other one, I'm telling you. Good luck with that. Like, I don't know if they consulted a lawyer. Like, I, I personally, I personally would tell you before you go crossing the mouse, I personally would tell you, you better consult with a lawyer and make sure that you're under, fully understanding public domain. Because if you're calling it Mickey Mouse and there's potential brand confusion, they're going to come after you. This one here, because it's saying it's, it's going to be your co-op horror in which you're exterminating, uh, Treat, you're exterminating or treating a sinister infestations caused by twisted versions of classic characters and urban legends. They're probably going to go by, you know, public domain characters and things yeah. like that. Thing is, you could change the asset if you had to, if there was a problem. But it's it's a Steamboat Willie model, and they're allowed to use the likeness of Steamboat Willie as long as it's not confused with current Mickey Mouse. And that one doesn't look like current Mickey Mouse. So this one they probably can skirt by. Mouse for sure. These two they might be able to get away with. This one's easy enough to fix. You just change the asset. Right. We just make it look more rat-like or whatever. We don't We don't call it Mickey Mouse on screen. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like it's obvious it's Mickey Mouse. But it's obviously Steve but Willie from the he's hat. He's got the hat. Yeah. This one? Yeah, this one, especially uh, the poster, it's too similar. I think you're going to get, I think they're going to run into trouble. I think you're absolutely going to run into trouble. But good luck with that. That's not my problem, right? That's not our problem, but I think we're going to see a lot of really weird stuff this year. Uh, everybody trying to skirt this. Uh, and I think we're going to see exactly like how far this goes. Cause again, we're, we're in uncharted territory at this point. Like this is to the best of my knowledge, never happened with a character as big, as iconic as Mickey mouse. But I guarantee you Disney's lawyers have thought about this for decades. And they're like, well, what happens when it finally 
expires, it's like, oh, we'll just use trademark. Wasn't the original title, wasn't it Mickey Mouse in Steamboat Willie or was it just Steamboat Willie? Yeah, a Mickey Mouse cartoon. The cartoon is called Steamboat Willie. But that doesn't mean you own Mickey Mouse. You just own, the, the, the public domain is Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse, right, not Mickey right. Mouse. So where you can get away with the likeness of Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse, you're not going to probably get away with calling it Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so I'm yeah, because be Mickey Mouse is trademarked. You know, Mickey, I think anything, you know, that looks too much like it. And again, the version that they've got that mask, that is not Steamboat because Steamboat Willie had the pie eyes mm -hmm. and this one does not have pie eyes. Uh, he actually looks like it looks like the full color. It looks to me like, yeah, they just tried to make it bleached out or something. Yeah, but that's a, that's a standard Mickey Mouse face and that's trademarked. And I'm sorry, they're 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 going to come after you. I mean, whether or not they win said yet to be seen, but are they going to come after you? Most likely. Yeah, absolutely. I I am 99% sure that it's making headlines. They're going to come after them. Disney's already got their lawyers probably on speed dial. Like, hey, we oh, know what's going to waiting to see what they're waiting. Dropped. They're waiting and they're going to set precedent They're I think they're going to be harder on this first batch of uh, Mickey Mouse shenanigans because they're, they want to set a precedent. Like if you mess with Mickey and we don't like it, we will come after you because he's our, our company mascot. And I, I think they're gonna win. I think they're gonna they're gonna push the trademark issue and they're gonna win. I think some they can, some they can. This some one they can. can. This one definitely. Uh, in my opinion. All right, are we wrapping it up? I think we need to wrap this up. Uh, I'm sure we'll be doing more videos on some ridiculous Disney shenanigans and Mickey Mouse uh, Mickey Mouse shenanigans. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.